we are visual creatures. And outside of creating some really fancy infographic, even though those are great, there are a lot of times you just want to present your data in a chart. And I really love using Google Forms. Some people call them Google Surveys because I can ask people a series of questions and then Google Forms will display that data if I ask it in the right way as a pie chart or a bar chart and so or bar graph. So I want to show you using Google Spreadsheets how you can actually create a chart manually very, very easily. So all you have to do is go to docs.google.com slash spreadsheets and then enter the values. So for instance, here I just chose a bunch of different colors and I made sure they equaled 100. Now one way you can make sure you get to 100 is down here in this bottom cell right here. I click on this functions then sum button. And if I click on this first cell and I drag it down, then it's going to, you can see it changed the formula of equals sum B2 to B8. If I hit enter, then it's going to display the total of B2 to B8 so I can make sure I got 100. So I did that right. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now the next thing I want to do is go up to insert and then I choose chart. And once you're into that, basically it's going to pop out some sort of chart. So it's very, very simple to create a chart manually inside of Google Spreadsheets. And then what do you do with the chart? Well, a couple of the more popular options. First is just click on save image and it'll save that chart somewhere. And the second is actually you can publish it. And when you do that, you can uh, create a link to it or embed it on a web page somewhere. Um, so pretty robust options built right into Google Spreadsheets if you wanted to create a chart uh, for your audience.